anytime you're an operator of a motorcycle and you get into a collision, there's a high probability that you're going to sustain very serious injuries. And again, the reasons are very similar to any uh, other off-terrain off vehicle. Uh, with no restraint, high speeds, and limited protection vis-a-vis -a, -vis a car or a truck, um, when you get ejected off that bike, or if you enter into a speed wobble and you get thrown off, or you get struck, there's nothing protecting you uh, from high, uh, high, high, high speeding vehicles, the ground, uh, stationary objects. What we see at my firm is the results of motorcycle collisions. And motorcycle collisions are some of the absolute worst. And usually, the level and, and severity of the impairment is really second to none. We see a lot of loss of limbs, very serious brain injury, uh, very uh, severe fractures that result in uh, multiple surgeries and frankly, multi-fracture. Uh, we see a lot of head injury. And it all goes back to having limited uh, physical protection uh, surrounding your vehicle. The other contributing factor is often high speed. And even if you're wearing a helmet, it does not mean that you're going to be uh, walk away without issues. Now, accident victims that are involved in motorcycle collisions have, and I, I'm assuming for this discussion, that they're not at fault for the accident. If you're not at fault for the accident, your first avenue re of recourse is through the accident benefit system. The accident benefit system sets out a variety of benefits that you can access through your motorcycle insurance policy. Uh, that policy, in the event that you're working, can give you an income replacement benefit of up to $400 per week. If you're not working, you can qualify for a non-earner benefit of up to $185 a week. There are periods of time that these benefits will last for and each benefit is different. In terms of medical treatment, there are technically three different stages of the, the type of coverage you can have, one of which is a minor injury, which is where you have just soft tissue injuries with no uh, barriers to recovery. That'll cover you up to $3,500. The second tier, which most people that are involved in motorcycle collisions qualify for, is up to $65,000 for medical and rehabilitation uh, coverage together with attendant care. The third level is for catastrophic impairment. And catastrophic impairment, again, is a defined firm uh, term that applies to those that are the most seriously impaired. Now, the second option you have is a lawsuit. And that's where you sue the at-fault driver or the owner and driver of the vehicle that caused the collision, whether it's the left-hand turn uh, operator, whether it's somebody who's making an unsafe lane change, uh, or whether or not you're a passenger on a motorcycle and the driver of the motorcycle uh, makes an error. You have recourse, and that recourse is, is that you're able to sue for pain and suffering. You're able to sue for your past loss of income and your future loss of income. And you're also able to sue for all of your future medical needs that you may have as a consequence of the accident. Now, where my law firm can assist is we make sure that you have access to all of the benefits that you're entitled to. We also make sure that all the paperwork is completed correctly. We make sure that you have access to a rehabilitation team and that you're able to see the right healthcare practitioners to help aid in your recovery. And we make sure that your lawsuit is filed in time so that your future and your rights are protected. We also help get you the compensation that you deserve following an accident within the constraints in the system that exists in Ontario. For more information, or if you've been seriously injured in a motorcycle accident claim, Call Presider Law Firm, we'll provide you with a free consultation, we'll answer your questions, and we'll tell you exactly what your rights are under the circumstances of your case in your life.